What's up guys? Wes from the MOA here with you again in the shop at Gridlock Motors working on our R1200 GS parts bike. If you look real closely, you can just see out of the corner of the frame, the rear end of my sidecar rig. That's a K bike. I just wanted to tell you that so that you know, you know, I don't only ever think about boxers. At any rate, at this point in the disassembly process, it's kind of, and I hesitate to say this because I don't want you to, I don't want to dispel the magic, but we're at a part of the disassembly that is really kind of boring and almost not worth showing you on video. Um, it, as a matter of fact, it's so boring that the two tools we, I use the most at this stage of a disassembly are a pair of cutters and a tiny flathead screwdriver. I use the cutters because there are approximately 9,487 zip ties on this 2005 BMW R1200 GS, and they all have to come off because they all have to come off. The reason I use the tiny flathead screwdriver is to disconnect all of the electrical connectors. The vast majority of the electrical connectors on this motorcycle have positive clips. So there's a place where you have to bend a tab, push a tab, twist a tab, something that requires the use of a tiny flathead screwdriver. So I'll show you a little bit of it just to kind of reinforce how uh, lame this stage of the disassembly is. The next day, as you could see from that little snippet of uh, removing zip ties, it's really not the most exciting or interesting part of disassembling a motorcycle, but it's very important to get all the zip ties off before you try to start pulling wires out. Because one of the things that we are trying to salvage off this bike is the wiring harness. That's something that would be incredibly useful to another rider who had a major electrical fault that was uh, because the wiring harness was bad or was too difficult to track down and we needed to replace the entire harness. You can do that without taking the whole bike apart, but it's easier if you take the whole bike apart. Uh, putting a new wiring harness on a, on a motorcycle, a modern motorcycle like this is a really huge undertaking. Now I'm not sure if you can see, oh, I'm dropping some of them, this giant fistful of zip ties uh, and this is probably half of the zip ties that were on the bike um, because a bunch of them we pulled off over the course of taking off the other things that we've already taken off the bike. Another thing we removed, I removed today are the lights and the associated wiring harness. Uh, these lights are still in good condition even though they're a little scratched. So these will go right on eBay. And the previous owner had also installed a two hole USB charging port, which um, we'll just hang on to 
here in the shop and I'm sure somebody will find a use for it sooner or later. Now, another thing that I did that I didn't show you was disconnect all the fittings on the ABS pump. This is the notorious whizzy brakes or servo brakes, depending on uh, the amount of derision that you use to talk about them. Um, and these units are known to go bad. So there's a company that rebuilds them. So we're gonna put this on the shelf and save it around until we can get on the wait list to get it rebuilt. And then we'll have a, re a rebuilt one that we can give somebody for half the cost of a new pump. So that'll save somebody's day for sure somewhere down the road. This is where the computers go. So I've, as you can see, I've removed the computers. Here's the air box that's going to come off. And another thing that I'm going to do today before I give up and go home, I'm going to take off all the brake lines and hoses and things and put those in a, in a bag and I'm going to loosen all of the frame bolts while the bike is still in this condition. If once we get a little farther down the road, all those frame bolts are gonna be difficult to loosen because we'll lose leverage. Right now we're clamped on the, on the lift, so we're, and we've got enough of the bike still here that we have enough leverage to get those things loose now. So that'll be the next step. And I'm not gonna show you that because it's just loosening the bolts a couple turns. It's not a big deal. Eventually the engine's gonna come out. We're gonna take that apart. The transmission is gonna come out. We're gonna take that apart. I'll show you exactly how the clutch on one of these things works. It's pretty fascinating. And eventually the last couple of frame pieces will come apart. The handlebar will come off and all of that. So we are making progress, even if it doesn't look like we've done a lot today, we've done a lot today. So take it easy, come back, like if you like the videos, comment, ask questions, subscribe. If you're an MOA member and you're watching this video and you have an old bike that doesn't run well anymore or a, it's been wrecked and it's just sitting in your garage or in your yard or something and you wanna get rid of it, drop me a line. Go to the MOA website, find the contact us form, drop me a line. Maybe we can arrange to get your bike here to the shop and it can be the subject of one of these videos too. I love tearing stuff apart and I know you love watching me do it. Well, maybe not me, but you love watching it get done. Until next time, take it easy. This has been Wes for the MOA. Thanks for joining us.